it's freezing outside day. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Matt Carr, me and my beautiful wife, Veronica, go out to garage sales and thrift stores and the Goodwill bins like today to find things to resell on our eBay store. It is a freezing cold day in Calgary, so we're gonna warm our hands up and our bodies with some coffee before we hit up the Goodwill bins, and hopefully we find some good stuff today. Let's see what we get. too many crates anymore, but uh, it's, 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 it's an interesting Calgary Flames action, which one is, but it's pretty, pretty dirty, so someone left it. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to get super lucky today, but you know, I got quite a lot of time because I don't have anything else to do today, so might as well stick around and see what happens. So the first clothing bin arrived, and my wife found this 76ers, really cool. Turn it around, Iverson jersey, look at that, that is awesome. I mean, it's pretty clean. Definitely needs a bit of a wash, but overall, we don't see any holes or anything like that. No, so, pretty, pretty nice, yeah. That's gotta be at least probably like 40, 50 bucks. Pretty sweet jersey. And a second clothing bin came out just before the very first toy bin of the day, and we actually did score some decent things out of this toy bin. So a few toy bins actually came out, and I didn't have my phone out, unfortunately, but I ended up finding some jelly cats. This cute unicorn here. It's got the jelly cat logo. It's always good to look for jelly cats. Probably the best plushes you can find, besides maybe some good Pokemon ones and some old vintage plush. We also got this dog here, which is also a jelly cat. Really cool. Got some more Lego Duplo pieces. I actually found some Pokemon cards in here. Uh, there's like a foil Gallop that I'll show you at the end of the video inside here. Not bad, worth a few bucks. And we also got a Tamagotchi. You guys remember these? This is wild. I don't know if it's super vintage or not. No, 2017, so it's not vintage, so it's probably not really worth too much. I might end up putting this back. I'm not sure yet because it's, it doesn't really weigh too much, so it's not gonna cost a lot of money. Also got a Lego Duplo car here. And I believe that is it. So not bad for the first toy bins. We're going to stay for at least a few more hours and see how many other toy bins come out. And maybe we can keep adding on to the score. But so far, I think my wife has done better than me with that Iverson jersey. Holy cow. Someone had it listed for like over $200 on Poshmark. So kind of wild. We're going to keep picking today and see what else we get. The way that today was going, we barely had a breather from toy bins. It was back to back toy bins and we were finding things left and right. And we ended up getting more stuff from these two toy bins that came out right after each other. Okay, so I ended up getting some decent stuff along with that Lego right here, which uh, actually has a character in the size. So that's actually kind of cool. Not bad, it is authentic Lego. I grabbed a ton of Skylanders. I don't even know if Skylanders are really worth grabbing, but when you have the bins, you're paying by weight. So I thought, why not? So ended up grabbing this base, got a bunch of Skylanders characters, and then I also ended up getting a He-Man figure. Very loose joints though, unfortunately. This is a early 90s, not in the best condition, but I might just sell it at a toy show for about five bucks or so. And then we ended up getting a Chewbacca as well, a 3.75 inch scale Chewbacca. And I think that was pretty much it. No, we got a, never mind, we got a pony as well. Always lot those up, so whenever I find them, I usually pick them up. But nonetheless, not anything crazy, just uh, some decent scores. All right, so a media bin came out. We had a ton of video games. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how many we're actually gonna keep. We always uh, scan them, see what they sell for on eBay before. So we got 007 here, Bioshock. A lot of these, unfortunately, were at the Goodwill. Yeah, most of the ones that are gonna be at Goodwill are probably not gonna be worth picking up. And it looks like the majority of these were at Goodwill. Uh, this one as well, however, it's not Pac-Man. It's actually a Tetris game here, and I already searched this and it looks to sell for around $17, so that's what we're going to keep for sure. We're also going to keep this uh, Mario Kart Wii. Not in the best condition of the box. However, the disc is inside. It's missing its manual, but still pretty decent. Probably get about $20 at least for that. This one as well, I'm not sure if we're going to keep that. I'm not sure if we're going to keep that. This one's interesting. We have a PS3 game here, Street Fighter. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll keep this one. It's just the disc only, unfortunately. And then we also got a Totally Spies, which is a uh, party game for Wii. So kind of cool. This one doesn't have the sticker for Goodwill, so it might be promising. And as I'm editing this video, we just sold the Mario Kart game from the bins that we picked up for $30 on eBay. So great find. And 
And after a few more clothing bins, the sheer onslaught of toy bins continued, and we ended up getting more stuff from Lego to Jelly Cats and even more vintage toys. I haven't even had a breather to film. There's just been non-stop toy bins. It's unreal. The amount of Jelly Cats that we've got today. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you them all. Uh, when I'm back at home, there's four in total right now. It could be more during the day. I ended up finding a bunch of Lego. Um, I was pretty smart to sit where I was at one point. I had an inclination that there might be something in there, some Lego, kind of odd minifigures there. Uh, I got some other pieces of Lego, just random pieces, other minifigures like this as well. Obviously, I'm gonna give you guys a better breakdown at home, some just Lego helmets there. This guy right here is actually from the 80s. At first, I almost put this down because I didn't think it was vintage, but then I looked at the date right there and see APT 1986, pretty sweet, so we grabbed that. We also grabbed a wrestling figure here. You guys know who this is. This is Mr. Hollywood himself, Hulk Hogan. So not bad at all so we've been doing okay no like unbelievable crazy scores yet today but still all of these will add up and i think this jelly cat i already looked him up he sells for like over 30 dollars per year so not a bad purchase at all and yet another media bin came out and i placed myself in front of a bin where i thought i saw some interesting games all right so we stood in front of that media bin unfortunately this is why i stood there because of these tv sports and unfortunately they are empty however we did find a zelda twilight princess here and uh, we also got, oh, never mind. We got three stuck. of them? Yeah. I didn't even realize I was just grabbing one everything. Stuck. It was just stuck. Yeah, so we have another in sports there. We sports is always good. Always sells for at least $20 or $30. And then uh, we have some stuff in here. I grab these all the time just in case because you never know. It could just be a folder filled with games. Usually it's not the case, but let's see here. Is it filled with games? We had one before that was uh, just PlayStation 1 game. Uh, is that the case here? No, looks like it's kids' shows here. Mini Marvel Collection, Wall Street. Yeah, it's just movies, unfortunately. But and yet another media bin came out, and out of these media bins, we actually got our best video game scores of the day. Absolutely unreal. So, I took a chance, and it paid off. We got the Phantom Menace Episode 1 for PlayStation, and it is complete. There we go. Look at that with manual as well. That is incredible. We also got this. This is what I actually saw, that's why I stood there. And when I opened it up, look at that. Most of these are absolute dog crap. However, there was one game, there was a Harry Potter game in there. It's probably the only one I'm actually gonna keep from this because it's not gonna weigh much. And also this is a very heavy case. So probably just gonna keep this. Not bad, decent score. Also found Leisure Suit Larry's Magna Gum, Magna Gum. I can't believe it. this is a mature game. I don't think they'd make games like this uh, today. So kind of a rare find here. So just grabbed a ton of media. Media bin came out and we ended up uh, finding some decent things here like Devil May Cry for PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, no case for it. So we'll put that aside. We have the Bully here from PlayStation 2. Greatest hits made by Rockstar. Not bad. It doesn't have the manual, but it does have a game in case. This one, I have to do some research on this. It's a PC game, Neverwinter Nights 2. Uh, Atari Team Windows 2000, made by Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast. We have Need for Speed Undercover for Wii. This one did not have a good little sticker on it, so I'm gonna do some research on it. I might pass on it though. We have Start Party here, another one without any good little sticker, so might grab this one. We also have Last of Us for PlayStation 3, obviously now a really big show, so that's actually pretty interesting. We have Dragon Age Inquisition for Xbox One. We have Destiny for Xbox One. We have Star Wars Battlefront 2. Assassin's Creed Origins, and then I also grabbed this. Did have a good little sticker, but Anime Legends Cowboy Bebop, one of the greatest shows of all time. I'm gonna do some research on this, see if it's worth picking up. And this is the best one, Final Fantasy for PlayStation. This one sells for like 50 to $70 pre-owned and it's complete, so a really cool score. Then we also found Lord of the Rings Conquest on top of that, and this one is also complete. So unreal scores today, guys. I don't know what's going on. It's like everything we like, we're finding. Okay, time to wait everything we have. Uh, I'm guessing we probably have about 20 pounds. 23, I was close, so not bad. Probably gonna be about $31 today. Okay, so $31 spent today, and here is everything that we purchased for that price, and I think it's a really good deal. Just looking at everything that I see here, you know, if you were to go to any regular thrift store, you're not looking at anywhere near this much stuff for $31, so really happy with what we got. Now let's break it down. First, my wife found this. 76ers Philadelphia jersey, beginning of the day, it's really good condition. Mitchell and Ness, she found like one listed on Poshmark for over 200. If that's true, then maybe we can get at least 100 for this. But if we wanted to sell it fast, probably closer to 
found this Timberland jacket here. It's extra small, but it fits almost like a men's medium. We did sell a Timberland jacket recently, so maybe we can get about $20, $25 on that. We have a Armani exchange here, this jacket. As soon as I saw Armani, I was like, this could be good. And then my wife lets me know that Armani exchange is like the cheaper version. It's like the more affordable Armani, so maybe we're not gonna get as much as I thought for this, but nonetheless, you know, we paid maybe 50 cents to a dollar for this, so we'll probably end up getting, I don't know, what do you think on this? I have both 20 bucks? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have grabbed that. So I ended up finding this nice uh, vintage Made in USA Nike t-shirt here. Large um, top neck here. Probably would sell for maybe like $30, $40. I might keep this, I'm not sure. My wife is the one who does the Poshmark. So if she wants to list this really bad, I'll let her list it. Found this Michael Kors. It's a really, really cool dress here. Uh, as soon as I saw Michael Kors, I said this might be actually a pretty decent find here. I'm not really sure. I don't do too much on the clothing side. Obviously my wife is the one who does the clothing. Is this good? Yeah. Okay, so she she approves. She also found these Lululemon pants here. Uh, she finds Lululemon, I feel like, almost every other time we go to the bins, but. So are you gonna keep these or are you going to sell them? That's a bit bigger than my size, so I would sell them. So, yeah, okay, so. Nonetheless, Lululemon's pretty sweet. She also found some Fila shoes that are really clean. She's probably gonna list those on Poshmark as well. Then I found all of these. This one is a pig. I looked it up, looks to sell for like between 15 to 20. This one right here, maybe around the same 15 to 20 based on the size. Same thing here. Usually the ones that are around the same size, unless they're really rare, close to like the $20 Canadian mark. Uh, this one right here might be a little bit more. It's a little bigger. I do love the feeling of this. It's so soft, but really cool that we found all of this jelly cat stuff here. This one sells for the most uh, around $30, $35 Canadian. Not bad at all. Then we end up finding two ponies here. We always lock them up. So if I see them, we're basically paying next to nothing for them. Might as well grab them. This one actually looks to sell for like around $17 on eBay. So I might list that on its own. Then we grab this gigantic Skylanders lot. This one bin was like almost filled with Skylander stuff. I probably would have been able to get more if someone didn't actually pick out the other ones. There was someone else on the other end of the bin who was picking out the other Skylanders, which kind of sucked because it would be nicer to get a bigger lot. But nonetheless, I think a lot of this size should sell between 30 to like $60 on eBay. So pretty happy about that. Now we ended up getting some video games here. Crazy scores, nothing like over the top. This is probably the best one, Final Fantasy for PlayStation. This one probably sells between $50 to $70 Canadian. Phantom Menace, about $17. Lord of Conquest, another one, about $17. Same as Bully. And uh, Leisure Larry sells for over $20. Bucks. We got Wii Sports, Mario Kart for Wii. We also got Zelda Twilight Princess for the Nintendo Wii as well. Unbelievable scores. Then we got two DS games here, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Tetris Party, along with another Wii game, Link's Crossbow Training. This one actually barely sells at all. It's better to just kind of lot it up with the system. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might just bring it to a toy show and see if it'll sell there. We also end up getting some toys. Um, these guys right here are all vintage. Uh, this one's not as vintage though, but these two right here are from the 80s. And then we also got this Chewbacca here, 3.75 inch. Uh, I don't know, this was in the, did you know that you would grab this? Yeah, so it's not Pandora, but I search and it does sell. I might try to sell it on Poshmark. It's okay. like Disney Charms. Yeah. Like same style as Pandora, but I would just see. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't know if you got this as a mistake or not, but that's pretty cool. So I did check. This looks to be complete. It's a three-in-one Lego Crater set. Then we got a bunch of Lego here, including some Lego friend stuff and some Lego minifigures. The coolest one probably being this uh, Doctor Stranger. The cape is actually really cool. It's, it's kind of pliable. First time I've seen a cape like that. Usually they're all cloth capes for Lego. So first time I've ever seen that. Really interesting. Uh, we got another minifigure inside here. And then we have obviously the other three. So five minifigures in total and a bunch of other uh, Lego friend stuff. And then there's some other pieces here that are kind of like characters, like this guy right here. I don't know if you'd consider it a minifigure, but it is a character. Uh, we got a turtle, we got a moose as well. So uh, another one right here, interesting. These are two, I think they're monkeys, but uh, nonetheless, pretty sweet score. Almost forgot about this a gigantic bag, about four pounds of Lego Duplo. We always end up lotting up the Lego Duplo stuff and it sells all the time. I always say that we see Lego Duplo, it'll actually basically, ooh, I almost, almost forgot about this. We end up getting a vintage uh, Army Donatello as well, Playmates, really cool. So as I was saying here, 
Lego Duplo basically pays for our trip. So this will probably be about $20, $25 Canadian for Lego Duplo in bulk. There's uh, quite a few vehicles there, train tracks, a Thomas the Train, also a few other characters as well. Anyways, what a fantastic day at the Goodwill Bins. I'm super thrilled with the score we got today, but let me know in the comment section below, what was the best score that we got at the bins? And do you think we could have maybe left some stuff at the bins? Because I don't like to feel like a hoarder, but let me know uh, that as well down below in the comment section. Remember guys, may your carts always be full.